At times, students get confused when they're talking to the third person in the role play. That can be patient's mother or son, daughter. Now, today we are going to do one such role play where the nurse is talking to the mother of a seven-year-old girl about a procedure called intravenous canalization. Now, Shalu will be taking the position of the mother and I'll be taking the position of the nurse. Let's see how it is going to be done. How should I address the seven-year-old girl in the role play? You can call her as Amber. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Bindya, one of the registered nurses working in this emergency department. Okay. Well, I'll be taking care of Amber. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not wrong, you're Amber's mother? Yes, I am. So could I know your name? My name is Marina. Well, Marina, let me tell you why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here to insert cannula on amber and start fluid administration. Mm -hmm. So before I do that procedure, I want to know whether you have any questions to ask me. Yes, nurse, I do have some questions to ask you. Yeah. I didn't understand why my daughter can't take oral fluids instead of this intravenous fluids. Well, that's a very sensible question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me tell you why she can't have oral fluids and then we'll discuss about intravenous fluids. Okay. So you know that your daughter is having some real stomach problems. Mm -hmm. So if we give her something by mouth, she may not be able to tolerate it and end up in having some real complications. Really? Oh, yes. And... She is dehydrated at this point. So we have to give her something that works really fast and that is much more effective for her to rehydrate her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for this reason, we are starting the intravenous fluids because the fluids are directly injected to her bloodstream. Okay. Uh, the reason for cannula is clear now. Mm -hmm. But nurse, I am worried about the cannulization. Mm -hmm. I think it, is, uh, it can create some pain for my child. Well, you are a very loving mother. Now, let me explain you more about the procedure so that you'll understand what is happening over there. Okay, so first of all, try to understand this is a very short procedure. And before we do the procedure, we apply a numbing cream. This is going to make sure that she won't feel much pain during the procedure. Now, once can is in place, she'll only have minimal discomfort or pain. Okay. okay, and again, after inserting the cannula, we'll also apply a dressing. Mm -hmm. This is going to make sure that the cannula is secured over there and won't slip off the vein and be messy. Oh, that's great. Okay, so do you have any other questions to ask me? You know, nurse, my daughter hates the injections mm -hmm. and she's going to get panic when she sees the needle. Well, I say, mother, it must be very difficult for me to see my child is increasingly crying. Well, being a mother, I totally understand how hard it must be for you to watch a child in such a situation. But let me tell you, you got to trust us here. We are professionals and we do have some strategies to help her to relax. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, we won't put it as a surprise for her. Mm -hmm. We'll explain each and every steps happening in this procedure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll ask her to take some deep breath. Mm -hmm. This is going to relax her. Okay. okay. And while we are doing this procedure, we are going to ask her some questions to distract her so that she won't have her complete focus on the procedure. Mm, that's great. Yeah. And that is going to help her a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let me also explain you more about the treatment so that you'll have a clear idea on what we're going to do to her. Mm -hmm. So after we have inserted the intravenous cannula, we're going to administer the first dose of intravenous fluids. Mm -hmm. Then we'll recheck her after four hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if everything is fine, we might discharge her. Mm -hmm. However, if we think that she needs more fluid administration, then we'll start the administration procedure once again. So we'll transfuse another dose of intravenous fluids. Mm -hmm. In that case, we might have to admit her. Okay. Oh yeah, so I just want to know whether she has been admitted before in a hospital. Oh, nurse, actually my daughter hasn't been hospitalized overnight before. Mm -hmm. So I am worried about it. I don't know how to take care of my child during hospitalization. Well, don't worry. Now, first of all, let me explain you what is going to happen if she's getting admitted. So if she's getting admitted, we are going to transfer her from the emergency department to the ward. Okay. Okay. And there, there will be another nurse who is going to take over her care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would appreciate your presence with her, like, 
do you mind staying with her overnight? Because she's only seven years old and you told me that this is the first time she will be staying in the hospital. So we want her to be comfortable. Definitely I can. Actually, I was about to ask you that yeah. and my daughter will be more comfortable in my presence. Okay, so I think that would be a very good thing to do to Amber. Now, uh, do you have any other questions to ask me? No, no, I don't have any other doubts and my doubts were clarified and I'm satisfied with that. Well, that's very good. So in that case, do you mind if I start doing the procedure on your child? Of course you can. Okay, then let me get ready for the procedure so that it won't take much long mm. and things are going to work fastly. Oh, that's great. Shalu, you were a real loving mother during the role play. And it was really wonderful. Thank you, ma'am. And you did well too. Well, thanks. Now, this role play or the scenario that has happened in this role play is one of the common questions being asked in OT test where you have to console a concerned person. It can be a patient, it can be the bystander. Now you have to learn all the statements what I have used in this role play so that you will be able to perform better in your test. With that, thank you.